what do you do when you don't have hamburger buns? But you do have hoagie style buns. Cut the hamburger in half. And four people have four ways. <laughs> Don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. <laughs> Are you gonna get done messing with your hair? Yes. Hey guys, I'm Chuck. And I'm Allie. And we are Allie Chuck Adventures, and we are back at Curry Hammock State Park in Marathon, Florida. Also, while we're here, we're gonna check out the 2021 Fantasy Fest in Key West. <laughs> So while we're here at Curry Hammock State Park this week, my sister and Nick are going to be joining us for part of the trip. Before they got here, we decided to air up the paddle boards and go a little paddle boarding. Yeah, we paddle boarded right close to our campsite. There's a walkway and a path, and we actually just kayaked out to the sandbar, which is about... the path right there. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at the map for kayaking and paddle boarding here, it's about three-tenths of a mile out to that sandbar. So it's not too far. It was a nice little paddle, and yeah. it was enjoyable. Saw some cool things out there. We have paddled all the way from over there. We are out on a sandbar. Water feels great. Allie thinks it's cold. So guys, if you're really enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button. It really does help out the algorithm for our channel. So it's always interesting that even though we've stayed here a couple times here at Curry Hammock, we never even knew this little trail was over here because our first time staying here, we were in site two. And in July when we were here, we were over near the end of the sites, I think site 24, if I remember right. Well, this time we have site five. Sites four, five, six, and seven all have this trail access that we're on right here that leads right over to the beach. We really like this site. It was a very open site here very big site too very deep so we see all these holes around here and I actually talked to a park ranger and he said they are crab holes they'll either be crab holes or they will be turtle holes if they're bigger and there's one right there behind me and here's another big one right here and Nikki Nikki go get it get it get what's down the hole what is it be careful you don't get a pincher on your nose <laughs> But this trail actually leads all the way up towards the ranger station. Another thing that we have started to notice a lot of in Florida here, like we noticed out west, is the foxtail. And if you have a fur baby, don't let them get in this. It's, uh, it can be dangerous for your pups. So just uh, keep an eye out for stuff that looks like, basically like a foxtail. So Friday night, we decided to just relax and play some left, right, center games and um scrolled out yeah we wanted to rest up because we knew we were heading down to key west the next day for some fantasy fest fun so we wanted to get plenty of rest in <laughs> so saturday actually saturday morning around i think 10 o'clock 11 o'clock we headed down to key west to take Lori and nick down there because they my sister had been there before but it had been years ago nick really hasn't been there so we let them do a little touristy things like uh the hemingway house while we watched their dog and we had some drinks West Cemetery. So one thing we did do is we took Nick and Lori to Hogfish Bar and Grill, which we discovered the last time we were here and loved it and loved it just as much this time as we did last time. We are taking my sister and Nick and Jelly to their first Hogfish Bar and Grill experience.
and I would have to say that Nikki had a, quite the show of watching fish over the side of the uh, dock where we were eating the whole time we were sitting there. She was, uh, she didn't even care to bake food. She was more interested in the fish that were below. That's true. So we actually really enjoyed the Hogfish restaurant and we were recommended by one of our subscribers. And it is definitely an off the beaten path kind of restaurant and it's not your typical uh, touristy type of restaurant. If you know of any other off the beaten path restaurants that you find amazing, please share it below in the comments and let us know. Nick and Lori took care of Nikki for us while we went back down to Key West for Fantasy Fest. I know. Hey, where are we? For a Fantasy Fest. Fest. Oh, there's Margaritaville. Well, Allie slept in a little bit. I took my sister and Nick over to the kayak and paddleboard launch. I paddleboarded while they rented a tandem kayak. We are out on the water. I'm paddleboarding by myself. Allie's back taking a nap. And Nick and Lori, right back there, are kayaking for the first time. And we're taking them to She's waving. We're we're taking them to the mangrove tunnel. Or I'm taking them to the mangrove tunnel. If you've never done the mangrove tunnel and you like kayaking and you and you think that it may be too claustrophobic for you, she actually made it through. She uh, was a freaking out a little bit in the beginning. Yeah, but I was very proud of her and she was proud of herself for making it through, and she said she would do it again. I'm gonna get you guys coming around the corner. I'm having a hard time holding myself here. It's the current is definitely taking me. Where are you guys? Oh, there you. Are. Where are you guys? Oh, I'm looking, still looking forward. Oh, there we go. That whole time I'm like trying to film you. But the current will take you, and you just basically you can just grab branches of trees and just kind of pull your way through. And it's not that far through there. And if you would like to check out one of our older videos of us going through the mangrove, we'll leave a link up here. <laughs> yep. Yep, and that was uh, that was a couple years ago on your birthday. Yeah, that was that was fun. So as we were saying Saturday night, we went back down to Fantasy Fest in Key West. Left Nikki here, about an hour drive, a little over an hour drive yeah. actually at night. From... And you have to be very careful when you're driving at night because through a certain area, they require you to drive 35 miles an hour because of the key deer. And also, every time we've been here, we've seen a lot of cops and a lot of cops sitting shooting radar. So you definitely don't want to spoil your fun here and get a ticket. So just obey the speed limits for sure. Right. If you're staying at Curry Hammock, it's going to take you a little over an hour to get down to Key West. And if you're at Bahia Honda, that cuts the time about in half. Mm -hmm. So we're really going to try to get Bahia Honda or Bahia <laughs> Honda, however you guys want to pronounce it. We say Bahia, some people say Bahia. So if you've never been to Fantasy Fest in Key West, it's kind of like... Uh, Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Yeah. There's a lot of body paint. So... We would definitely say it's not a kid-friendly type of thing. I did see some kids there. I was very surprised. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, it doesn't really get too wild and crazy until, you know, 8 or 9 o'clock when the sun goes down. Right. But uh, I would just, you know, if I had kids, I wouldn't bring them. That's for sure. Right. It's very interesting. If you like people watching, it's a very, <laughs> it's a very interesting people watching event. That's for sure. And people are just so friendly there. They close off the street of Duval for the most part. I guess this year on account of COVID, they didn't close off all of it like they normally do. And I guess they're not going to have the parade this year that they normally have at the end. But uh, they did still close off from around Sloppy Joe's on Duval Street to down around where um, like the Hard Rock Cafe and Fat Tuesdays is, mm -hmm. if, you, if you're familiar with uh, Key West at all. So last night we took Lori and Nick down a little early to Key West to go to Mallory Square and see the Sunset Performers. And lo and behold, who's there again but the same guy that brought me up to be Mrs. Sunset, what, back in 2017? If you guys want to see that, I'll put a link up above too for that video. It was pretty funny. We uh, And you can hear Allie and our friend Melissa in the background laughing at me quite drunkly. It was pretty funny, but he was there still doing his thing. And I, apparently he's written a book and I think his name is Will Soto and he's written a book on, about Key West. So I noticed that he was actually doing some autograph signings afterwards, but he was uh, he was making over Nikki last night a lot. And he was basically saying he had a dog that looked a lot like her.
So we actually talked Nick and Lori into going back with us uh, Sunday night, last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh He's not even drinking. I know, right? You're the sober one. <laughs> Just having a really good time with them, and they ended up going back a little bit earlier than we did. Yeah, we drove separate because we figured, and I, I told them, I said, I know you guys are probably not going to want to stay out as late as we are going to stay out. They actually uh, loaned Nikki uh, the the, <laughs> the tutu skirt. the tutu part of the uh, bumblebee outfit. <laughs> oh my goodness, she had so many people want to take pictures of her. Or, Patter and so forth. Oh and, yeah, she was. And Nikki the, was a party animal last night. Let me just tell you, we went into different bars where bands were playing, and she was having a ball. She does love music and live music. It's yes. uh, pretty crazy. I actually, met like three of our YouTube subscribers while we've been down here this time. It's been been awesome, you know. Yeah, very cool. Crazy. We're just walking down the street, and it's like nice to meet you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you're watching, if, if you guys are watching, make sure to drop a comment because. I might have been drinking that night, and I might have forgotten names. Yep. I think I think there was a Tim, and I think there was a Nelson, and uh, I could be totally wrong. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> we always love meeting new people and just uh, making friendships as mm -hmm. we go along, and that's that's what life's all about. So we came back a little earlier last night, knowing that uh, today we're going to be leaving. We actually don't have to leave today. Technically, we paid for today, but. Uh, we're, uh, we're gonna leave after we go and meet my sister who have already checked into their hotel because they're staying here for another few days. Until Friday. So we're gonna try a new restaurant. Yep, called Sunset Grill. And it's just off the Seven Mile Bridge in the Marathon there. We've already called, it's dog friendly, so another cool dog friendly thing to do and a new place to check out. Oh, there's a pool down here. That's cool. You can eat and go swimming. So you, I guess you could eat here and go swimming. I guess so. <laughs> awesome. We'll go for a swim afterwards. So what did you think of Sunset Grill? I liked it. I had the boom boom shrimp. Yeah. And Chuck had the lobster basket. Lobster chips basket. Huge portions. And you had, Chuck had the sheep crab soup as a max writer. Stuffed. I was going to have the lobster tacos, but my stomach was not feeling too well. So when I got the Bloody Mary, it helped. Just a little bit. I needed the Bloody Mary <laughs> from Pedro last night. <laughs> to wash down the Jaeger from last night. I would definitely recommend Sunset Grill. Because you can also go swimming too. And you can bring your pups. Hence Nikki. 